Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportlightTracker.com. Today we're going to do a video review on a brand new high-end racing helmet. This will be the second in line for the AGV series. This is the all-new grid. Start off with sizing and weight. You saw the 360 I did in the first part of this video. This is a size medium. I measured 58 centimeters. I wear a medium in almost everything out there. This medium felt great on me. Real intermediate oval head shape. Pretty sublime, pretty neutral. I think it's going to fit most people well. Weight, 3.3 pounds on our digital shipping scale. That's ridiculous. It's ECE 2205 certified, super lightweight. The ECE stuff has a weight advantage over our Snell stuff. Remember that. I wouldn't necessarily say one cert's better than the other. We could argue that all day long, right? They each have their own advantages, one of which being the weight for the ECE stuff. And man, when you put this puppy on a scale of 3.3, that's pretty sweet. No doubt. The only thing I want to talk about here, the comment I want to make with the sizing, and I think Josh would go head on with the shell of this helmet, you're going to see a little taper down here towards the entrance. Positive and negative, all in one, okay? It takes a little more effort to get this helmet on, right? Some folks don't like that. Myself, I like a nice tight fit. Didn't really bother me. Get the helmet on though, you get a better seal down here in the neck roll area, okay? Could result in a quieter helmet, right? Haven't had a chance to ride this one yet. This is a direct replacement for the T2, which is a helmet I like, float a ton of air. I expect this one is going to do the same thing. Key feature, ventilation for all this huge, right? This one, on and off system here for the vent and the chin, is hidden right up here, and I'll show you this in more detail in a little bit, up here in the chin bar, okay? You can see they've got screens here on the front of the vent, kind of a cool look. That vent works in concert with this breath deflector here to drive some air up on the shield, circulate it in or outside the helmet, right, and keep the fog off. Two brow vents, and they've kind of cut into, molded into the shell of the helmet here. The T2 flowed a ton of air. I expect this one's going to be pretty similar to that one. These vents are either on or off. They have a nice, smooth, firm motion. Cool details here to the shell, nice shape to it, molded in. We've got your exhaust vent back here, once again, metal screen. We have a little Venturi style vent here on the side of the helmet. It's molded in just a little bit there, kind of in the neck area. There's our ECE tag. This is a good looking graphic, the sun and the moon, really like this one quite a bit. Shield mechanism on this one. Nice detents all the way up. There's your first detent for those of you that like to ride with a shield crack, right? There's your first detent. To remove the shield, all you do is bring it all the way in the upward position, grab this red trigger, pull down. I mean, this thing literally jumps right off. Keep your hands on your shield when you release those, otherwise this thing's going to flick right on the ground. Okay. To reinstall it, really pretty simple. Slide the tab right up here in the channel, and then push down. This is a pretty smooth shield mechanism, right? I think anyone's going to be able to do that. Do it easily and do it accurately without fumbling whatsoever. Nice wide eye port. I showed you the breath guard, the breath deflector that comes with it. This helmet also includes a chin, chin skirt. That's nice. It really kind of calms and quiets the air in that particular area of the helmet. It is removable if you choose to do so. Fully removable liner. I'd like to show you the details on the inside of that. Can you kind of pick up the contrasting colors in there? Removing the liner, really easy to do. Just put the helmet bag that comes with it to the side. Got a couple of snaps up here in the cheek pad area. Reach in there, release those. Out comes the cheek pad. Very soft fabric inside this helmet. Feels really nice against the skin. Repeat the process here on the other side. One of the best ways to tell how well a helmet is built is to take it apart. I like the snaps they've used for the cheek pad and the top pad. Everything is held in there nice and firm. Great job. Nice product. We've got a combination of snaps and Velcro for the top pad. You can see the stitching here built into the top pad the mesh in the areas where the airflow will be. 
And now with that out of the way, let's tip this thing up and let me know when you're able to kind of look in there. It's tough because it's black. But man, between those two pieces of EPS, there are some huge channels. Tons of airflow is expected with this helmet. I really think this will be kind of on par with what I found with that T2. I mean, man, that thing moves some air. I expect this one will be really more of the same. Remember, with the airflow, oftentimes, there's going to come a little bit of noise production. I would expect with this one, yeah, you know, it's going to be like any other high-end helmet. It's, it's going to make some noise, right, when you have all these vents open. But the cool part is, you put some earplugs in, it's going to keep you good and cool, nice and dry on the hot summer days, which is when most of us do our riding. I've always liked AGV's helmets. They do a good job. I think this is a, a nice step forward from them. I like the lightweight. I like the fit. It was really neutral. I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTracker.com. This is the all-new AGV grid helmet. We showed you the sun and the moon graphic today.